Well, hello there. Welcome back to another video. Right now, I'm heading out in search of wild lake trout. I have Chester tagging along with me for moral support, and uh, he's my good luck charm out in the water. And our goal is to do our first catch and cook in the back of the SUV. Lake trout are what's known as a cold water species. Um, I like to use lead jigs to get down deep to fish for them. So these are just a couple examples of what, I, what I'd use. The other thing is when you're fishing for lake trout, you're likely to catch another species called whitefish. They hang out in the same areas. So the spot we're fishing today is about 60 to 70 feet deep. We're gonna be dropping these lead jigs right to the bottom and seeing what we can catch. There's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a good one. Lost him. He was right there. Lost him five feet, five feet below the boat. <laughs> All right, well, it's been a few hours since uh, our last stop. Oh, Chester, dude. Oh, I was way too close. As I was saying, it's been a few hours since our last update, since we lost that fish. And as you can see, there's been a pretty significant change in the weather clouded right over. The wind's actually pretty much died down too, which is quite nice. Sometimes when you're fishing, all you need is a little weather change. I'm hoping that this is a sign that maybe the fish will become more active. Wrong flavor, but a nice fish. All right, we got one. Not what we're looking for, but these things are really good to eat. And <laughs> if we don't catch a lake trout, this is what we'll eat tonight. All right, well, that was a real buzzer beater. The trolling motor just completely died. So, plan is, head on home, pack up the car, and go find somewhere to spend the night. You ready, bud? There you go. Sit. You're already soaked. You're soaked. We've been here for two minutes and he's been in the lake. All right, well, it's just about dinner time. First things first, we have a fish to clean. Gotta get all prepped and ready to cook. I'm actually gonna eat this guy with the skin on, so before I get cutting, I'm gonna head down to the water and descale this guy. <laughs> I 
Hey, 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 hey. Now the last step is to take care of for those right there, those called the pin bones. This job is kind of kind of feels tedious but believe me, it makes a massive difference. All right, there we go. I'm pretty excited too. We're trying a brand new recipe tonight. I've eaten tons of whitefish over the years, uh, many different ways. We've smoked it, barbecued, baked it, fried it, you name it. We're gonna be pan frying it tonight, um, but the recipe is Parmesan crusted. So to get started here, of course, I'm not gonna be able to muck both these huge fillets. So I'll put one in the Ziploc bag and get her back in the, back in the cooler. Step two, gotta crack a cold one. It'd be crazy to cook without one. Pretty simple recipe. We have a mixture of breadcrumbs and parm, Parmesan in here. And I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper and um, some cayenne as well. And then just some lemon on top of that. I always get carried away into the fish and uh, I completely forgot to start the rice. So it's probably better just to let it let it sit and let the rub kind of bind to the fish anyway. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes now while I get, uh, get the rice on. That's boiled, turn it down to a simmer, cover it up, and we'll get the cast iron piping hot and ready for the fish. half of lemon squeezed on now. Cannot wait to try this. on top. Want your dinner too, buddy? And as if this pot couldn't get any better, there's a freaking picnic table. Go. Go on apple tea. What do you think? This right here, for sure my favorite white fish I've ever had. 
think that's my favorite fish I've ever eaten. This is hitting hard. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say nine and a half for right now. Just hitting at a nine and a half. What'd that hit at, buddy? Another thing to mention is it's not fishy at all. Like zero, zero fishy taste to this, to this meal. It's just incredible. Halfway there. Now that we've got all of our cleanup chores finished, time for some dessert. Cheers, buddy. Wow, that was cold. We'll just sit here, enjoy this beautiful sunset, and do our very best not to get eaten alive. Job, buddy. As you can see, Chester and I are not alone in the car tonight. Only about 60 mosquitoes got in. I'm gonna do what I can to kill as many of those before we go to bed. So we still have some blood left in the morning. We'll see you guys then. Morning, sir. I'm just sleep. <laughs> better. So that was pretty good. And it's just me and the dog. There's uh, there's a lot of room and this time time of year overnight temperatures are so cool and comfortable for sleeping. You want your breakfast? You know where it is. Pretty wild out here this morning. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it's still blue sky up there. Just all of a sudden all this fog rolled in and uh, a little spooky looking. But I think we'll wrap up the video now, guys. Just got our stuff all packed up and uh, cars all ready to go. It was another great adventure. I appreciate all of you guys for coming along with us. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.